Education Cabinet Secretary George Magoha has maintained that the ongoing grade 3 assessment across the country is meant to test the ability of a pupil. He said it should not be perceived as examination, adding that the outcome will be used by teachers as pupils move to the next class to know where more attention is needed. The CS spoke on Friday in Thika when he toured the area to assess the ongoing neck assessment test. He said the test is only being done in mathematics, English and integrated learning activities which are meant to test the child's holistic skills, that is interaction, problem solving, observation and critical thinking. The assessment according to the CES will continue during the entire part of the third term. This is the first assessment test in the new competency-based curriculum which kicked off this year. <laughs> NEC had announced last month plans to review the success and problems of the new curriculum in grade 3. The Kenya Early Years Assessment will be administered to all learners in this grade and will test three English, mathematics and integrated learning. Before nightfall, before nightfall, can all the books be delivered here? I will, I will, I will come back again. Before nightfall, can we deliver the books? Yes, it says a new And identify for me the person who was supposed to deliver them. See. You have heard what I've done. The textbook shall be delivered here. Where, what is your title in my office? But the textbooks must be delivered here today. Do nothing else. That one will be done because it is criminal. And I cannot take responsibility for somebody to give me a wrong, a wrong brief. I will not take it because... And you have heard me ask it, talking to the education person. This one is my friend. We have met in many places because I have been to many places. And everywhere we go, everything is all right. Now I come to the most critical one. Akuna, I'm sure they must have told you everything is here. Yes, sir. Can you also manage by walkabouts? Yes, sir. And don't believe until you touch. Yes, sir. Yeah, so I've spoken to your will. Uh, so you will call me. Yes, sir. There's nothing we are doing until the books get here. Yes, sir. 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 You get the point until she tells me the books are here. The books will be here today. And if you like, you can come and check. Because if they don't, if the books are not here, I think something is going to give way. We owe it. We cannot mess around with these children. Because even me, I don't think I'll keep my job if I can't look after them. When you go to the president, the first thing he asks, what about the disabled children? Have you done this? Have you done this? In fact, he says, those my children, how have they performed? Those my children, have you given them extra time? Are we together? Mm -hmm. And then I tell him we are doing our best. Kumbe iko shida kidogo. So that that will be sorted out. Yes, and before I leave my office, I'll be told that the books are here. Yes, we are going to continue assessing our children until the end of the term. And you have seen how they are being assessed there. First of all, they are reading together. Then they will be asked uh, to to do English. In fact, some of the activities have already been done. And the results are already with NEC. And those results are only three. Does the child exceed expectation? Does the child meet the expectation? Or does the child uh, is, uh, fail to meet the expectation? Are we together? Exceed, meet or fail to meet? And these three results, there's nothing to it. As we move to the next class, they will help the teacher to know where to pay more attention. Are we together? So all these Kenyan, I think this Kenyan love with examinations, please forget about it. But this is not an exam. I have been there myself as a teacher, and I have seen that there are some very severely disabled children who are finding it difficult to be assessed, isn't it? I picked that in the, in, in the last 20 minutes. So the, the teacher that has been teaching them will be able to tell you this boy can read, and he reads by exceeding ex expectations. Some of the children here, they will have to, to give the test again and again and again as they are teaching them. But still some of them may not be there. Are we together? Now, that is the assessment that we are doing. And it is only maths activities, English activities, and the other activities that are related to what the child is doing 
all the time. And most of those have already been done and the results are coming. The second question you are going to ask me, which I want to preempt, is that, oh, this is expensive, or oh, how are you going to download? Again, have, having gone there, I've seen children, they have downloaded. But as a teacher, what they were reading, I think some of you saw it. Did it, some of you see it? It can be written in the blackboard. So you don't need to go and photocopy many copies. You can take one and come and write it in the blackboard so that you assess the children. And it's not a question of Monday to Friday. It's going to continue until the term ends. Is there anything else you want to clarify, sir, on this one? Because let, let's not waste time. Kenyans like, they like talking about non-issues. The examination, I've come to introduce you to uh, Dr. Onsati, who is uh, the chairman who is uh, taking over from me. And my, my warning is again very, very clear <coughs> that in the back room we are starting to see movements of teachers who want to destroy our children. They are saying they, they are going to have exams uh, ready in the, in the next uh, few weeks or so. And uh, we have hot spots. For now, I will just boldly mention the one which starts in Kisi. But the Epic Center is not Kisi this time. The Epic Center is in Rongo. And it goes down to, up to Korea, up to Homa Bay. There's a very active cell there. There are others we are seeing. The reason I'm talking to you is because uh, you should encourage our children, to, because they are a very powerful tool. Encourage our children and their parents not to waste money buying fake papers. Because we can assure you, together with the chair of the examination council, that the examination security issues are even tighter this year. This year we shall even cover up to two kilometers away from the school because uh, some of the crook teachers have found a way of creating command centers. You, give, you, you open the paper in the morning, they have about an hour to rush and try to do it. And let me tell you, those who try to do it are not very intelligent. Because when we catch them, like the last time, uh, quite a significant part of northeastern province and uh, Nyanza, specifically uh, Migori, you find people have had a, an open book exam in seven exams. Eh? And most of the answers are wrong. So you, you wonder which teachers are these. And the reason is this. They have a very short time to go and check the answer. Because we, we, we pick the exam at, uh, is it at six? Yeah, at six. And then maybe you, you, you open it. In Nyanza, they take it to the boat in the lake. Very interesting. And in the boat there now, some stupid teachers are answering them and feeding back. <laughs> and in the process, the children who are intelligent who would have passed copy what the teachers have said and they fail. So please help us. You are a very strong medium. Uh, some people think I have left the exam council, but I'm even stronger. Don't you think so? I'm even stronger because other now he's like my employee. <laughs> so we shall work together, together with you, together with the teachers. But the way, it's only about 0.5% of the teachers who are still thinking that way. The majority of the teachers are moving forward. And I'm very sure that the results this year will be better than last year. Reporting for Kenya Digital News, I am Joy Chalo.